Welcome to Noah Yachting's video check-in for yacht Femi Pearl. Femi Pearl is a 2017 Beneteau Oceanus 38.1. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start your engine, first make sure that you are in neutral. You know if you're neutral, if the handle is vertical, and you can push in this red button. This red button disengages the gear and lets you put on throttle. If you push this forward with the throttle on, then bring it back and the button clips out, you are in neutral. Hold down power to turn on the contact. Once the alarm sounds, hold down start. Once the engine is running, make sure that you have water flowing out of the outtake to show that the exhaust cooling system is operating correctly. To excite the revs in neutral, push in the red button and move the gear lever forward. To turn your engine off, bring it back to idle, hold down stop on the contact, and then turn it off by pushing power. To operate your bow thruster, your engine must be running. Hold down on these two buttons together to turn the thruster on. To bow thrust to starboard, hold down on the starboard button. To bow thrust to port, hold down on the port button. To turn the thruster off, hold down on the two buttons at the same time. Once the light goes off, the thruster is disengaged. Your BNG touchscreen GPS is located here at the port helm. This is a touchscreen system where you can zoom, pan, and select detail on your chart. You can also select the page in which you are looking at for different detail by pressing this button in the top right. Your autopilot is also located here on the port helm. To engage the autopilot, press auto and the yacht will hold your heading. To increase your bearing to starboard, press plus 10 or plus 1. To increase your bearing to port, press minus 10 or minus 1. To helm manually, press standby. When anchoring, you must have your engine on and your revs excited in neutral to 1500 to 2000 revs. This will help charge the batteries as the, you operate the windlass. When anchoring aboard Femi, open the anchor locker and tie back so it does not fall down on you. Retrieve the controller out of the anchor locker. The controller has two buttons, up and down. To lower your anchor, hold on down. Let out a little bit of chain, then you need to help the anchor across the bowsprit. Always lower the first part of the anchor slowly so that it does not swing and hit the hull causing damage. The chain is marked at 10 meter increments with red paint. When raising the anchor, hold down on the up button. If you feel the windlass start to strain, stop and wait until the boat gets closer to the anchor. Always raise the last part of the anchor very slowly so that it does not swing and hit the bow. Once you've finished, return the remote to the cradle and close the hatch. You also have an anchor control here at the helm station. This button here is for down. It also has a chain counter on it. And this button here is for up. Make sure when you're operating this, you have someone at the bow watching the anchor to make sure it is dropping correctly and is not fouled on anything. When you've finished anchoring, make sure to bring the lever back to vertical, the button pops out into neutral, and then you can engage into gear. The manual bilge pump handle is located under this locker here. To operate the manual bilge pump, 
place the handle into the pump here and pump vertically. The cockpit shower is located here. Pull out the shower. Lift the flap to turn on the water, push laterally across. And to adjust the mix for hot and cold, rotate anti-clockwise or clockwise. Make sure you turn this off before putting the hose away so that you do not waste any water. The gas bottle for cooking is located here. To turn your gas on and off, it can stay in the compartment. Rotate anti-clockwise to turn on and clockwise to turn off. If you need to change this bottle once it's empty, hold the unit here, unscrew the gas bottle, and replace the new bottle. Your 230 volt shore power cable is located here. To remove this, rotate to the port side and then pull out. Replace the cover while sailing. To insert, line up the holes and rotate to the right to lock. Your extra equipment is located here underneath the starboard locker. In here you have your extra fuel, oars for the dinghy and pump for the dinghy, hose for refilling your water tanks with fresh water, bucket with the baler, pourer for the fuel tanks and funnel. You have your 50 meter shoreline and your extra dock lines in here. At the base you have the seat for the dinghy, a deck brush and extra spare lines. This is also the location of the shore power breaker. The main breakers for the shore power system are located here in the starboard locker. If you have problems with your shore power, check this switch. If it is in this position, it is on. If they have flicked to here, reset them to on and check your shore power. If you have any further problems with your shore power or the power system aboard Femi Pearl, call NOAA services immediately. The diesel fill point for the boat is located on the aft starboard quarter. Undo this with a winch handle or the tool from the chart table and fill your diesel here. This says diesel on the cap, make sure you double check this before filling. The fill point for the aft water tank is located here on the port quarter. It says water on it, double check you are filling this with water and not diesel and vice versa. The fill point for the forward water tank is located here on the port bow. This says water on it also, double check before you fill this. Use this port to fill your forward tank with fresh water. To raise the swim platform, make sure the swim ladder is down and then put the line to the starboard winch and winch up the platform. Once the platform reaches the top, lock in with the two locks and secure the swim ladder. To lower the swim platform, release the swim ladder and then ease down on the winch. Your technician will check all of your sails to make sure they're in good working order before the start of your charter. If you wish to check these yourself, pull them up and roll them out with at least two people and look for any defects. If there is any defects you would like to report, take photos with your mobile phone and report these to the office staff.
Sony Pearl's main control panel is located downstairs on the starboard side next to the chart table and the safety equipment VHF. On this side you have your 220 volt AC system. When you're connected to shore power these lights will show on as long as these switches are pushed this way to on. Here you have your charger for your batteries, your water heater and the outlets throughout the boat. To this side is the 12 volt system. You have your monitor to display your batteries and the level of your voltage, your water tanks and your fuel tank. Your cabin lights are controlled by this switch here. Here we have your navigation lights for this side on sailing and for this side for motoring with your steaming light on. In the center all lights are off. Remember to turn these off when you finish navigation. Anchor light, the light to the panel here, the deck light, flood light on deck, the navigational equipment, the GPS, autopilot, etc. The fridges and the water pump here. With your bilge pump, in the center it is off, on the left side it is manually pumping and on the right side it is on automatic. Your VHF is located up here above the chart table. To turn on, rotate this knob here. It is also the volume adjustment knob. Adjust the sensitivity with this knob and the channel with this knob. The International Distress and Calling Channel is channel 16. To adjust your channel, rotate this dial. Channel 17 is Atsi Marinas and most port authorities around Croatia. To transmit, hold down on the transmit button here where my thumb is. In this locker is located your pilots, cruising guides and light lists for Croatian area and all of your charts for the area you're cruising plus the manuals for the yacht. Up here you have your binoculars, hand bearing compass, spares for the engine and repair kit for the dinghy. In this locker you have your winch handles and your foghorn. Your safety equipment is located underneath the starboard seat. In here you have two fire extinguishers. Your sea anchor drogue. Thermal blankets. In this locker you have your set of harness and tethers your dry bag with flares, your magic reboard ladder for emergencies, and your day shapes for motor sailing and anchoring. In the last locker, you have some extra rocket flares, a second sea anchor drogue, your bosun's chair. When you arrive, your life jackets will be laid out for your inspection. Check these before stowing them away. Inside the small chart table you have the tool for opening and closing the diesel and water tanks and also the spare fuse for the bow thruster. The bow thruster breaker fuse is located underneath the forward bunk. If you have problems with this please contact NOAA services and they will instruct you as to how to change the breaker. Underneath the port seat you also have your water heater and the main switch for the water heater and your water tank valves to change over between tank 1 and tank 2. To change over your water tanks use these two valves here. As you can see tank 2 is in the bow and tank 1 in the stern. In this position the valve is on with the arrows in line with the pipe. In this position this valve is off. When changing tanks turn off the previous tank and turn on the fresh tank. It's advised to only have one tank open at a time so you can manage your water levels. The cooking gas shutoff valve is located in this cupboard here. In this position here it is off. Turn this on when cooking so it is in line with the line. Turn off when you finish cooking and turn off the gas at the bottom. The main engine and service battery switches are located in the aft port cabin. In this position here the engine battery switch is on. In this position it is off. This is the main negative and then the main switch for the domestic or service batteries. The anchor windlass breaker is also located here. If your anchor windlass is not working, first check that your engine is running. 
then check that this has not tripped out. If this has tripped, return it to the on position and try your anchor windlass again. Heavy Curl has one main fridge, which is located here. It has a cool box in the top for freezing ice and a temperature dial here. We suggest setting this to about four or five in the middle in order to save power. The fuel shutoff valve is located in the aft starboard cabin underneath the bed. In this position it is on, turn 90 degrees to shut off the fuel to the engine in an emergency. The valve for the holding tank is located in the aft starboard cabin inside the cupboard underneath this panel. In this position the valve is open, in this position the valve is closed. To operate the manual pump toilet, you have two positions in which this can be in. Over this way, with this symbol, it will pump water only out. When it is switched this way, it will pump water in and out at the same time. When it is to this setting, the bowl will naturally fill to a certain level. When you are finished going to the toilet, remove the waste by putting the switch in this position, then switch it to flush, and pump 15 to 20 times to remove all the waste from the bowl and pump it up and down into the holding tank. When you are finished, swip this over to the other side and remove the excess water. Push the handle down and turn to lock into position. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Put the toilet paper and other sanitary products in the bins provided inside the locker. The shower in the bathroom has an electric shower pump drain. To activate the shower pump drain, hold down on this black switch. Thank you for watching this video check-in for the 2017 Oceanus 38.1. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.